Hello everybody, this is your part one and today we're going through the most expensive art pieces sold in 2022. Now, going through the list, which goes top to bottom from number 10 to number one, you will often hear that paintings were sold from the Paul Allen collection. As a matter of fact, six of the top 10 auction results in 2022 came from the collection of Paul G. Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft, and took place at Christie's New York last November, totaling more than $1.5 billion, making it the most expensive single owner sale in history. Let's start. At number 10, we have Empire of Light by René Magritte, executed by the painter in 1961 and sold for $79.2 million. In March 22, this work by René Magritte, which depicts a lonely twilight scene, sold for $79.2 million at the Modern and Contemporary Evening Auction at Sotheby's in London. This work is part of the Empire of Light series, which depicts a similar theme and was inspired by the paintings of Caspar David Friedrich and the English painter John Atkinson Grimshaw. In 1948, Magritte painted the first work with this subject, and each subsequent work features a slightly altered composition. It was bought by Nelson Rockefeller, and the other paintings are now in the collections of world-renowned museums like the Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Royal Museums of Fine Arts in Brussels. The image can be seen as a subtle take on the surrealist strategy of combining contrasting and opposite themes. It appears as though day and night coexist here, with both artificial and natural light creating a moody scene. At number 9, we have an untitled work by Jean-Michel Basquiat, executed by the painter in 1982 and sold for $85 million. Jean-Michel Basquiat is frequently listed as one of the top-selling artists of the year alongside Andy Warhol. His unnamed painting from 1982 that sold for $85 million at the 20th Century and Contemporary Art Evening Sale at Phillips in May 2022 in New York City was part of the sale. The painting's subjects is a devil with a horn mask that resembles the style of Mask from Africa. He floats in front of a jumbled, abstract background that contains drips of paint. With a width of just over 16 feet, the painting is one of the artist's most expensive pieces and has a long history of sales, the first of which was to the New York collector and dealer Adam Lindman in 2004 for just $4.5 million. The recognition of the artist's fame decades after his passing is attributed to Andrew Turner, a private collector and dealer. Basquiat implies the cool kids, eccentric individuals, the mischievous genius, he explains. At number 8, we have White Disasters, White Car Accident 19 Times by Andy Warhol, executed by the artist in 1963 and sold for $85.3 million. This work is from Andy Warhol's Death and Disaster series, painted in the 1960s. Sold for $85.3 million in November 2022 at Sotheby's Contemporary Evening Sale in New York, it is one of the artist's most fascinating works. The piece features repeated images of car crashes, reminiscent of slides cut from film tape. Created during the economic boom of the United States, the work is both a critique of consumer society and an aestheticized depiction of a car accident. At number 7, we have Great Interior, W11, by Lucien Freud, executed by the painter in 1981 and sold for $86.2 million. Lucien Freud's large interior, W11, part of the Paul G. Allen collection, was offered at Christie's New York for $86.2 million. The work is a masterpiece of human observation and showcases Freud's extraordinary technical virtuosity. This painting is a transposition of Antoine Bateau's Hero content into Freud's studio, where the actors of the original painting were replaced by some of Freud's favorite muses, including his lovers and descendants. It's a snapshot of the artist's world and a commentary of his love of painting people he knew well. At number six, we have Birch Forest by Gustav Klimt, executed by the painter in 1903 and sold for $104 million. Gustav Klimt's Birch Forest is another piece from the Paul G. Allen collection. The work sold for $104 million at Christie's on the same day of the Freud's painting we saw earlier. The forest is full of silence and mystery, giving people a feeling of isolation. 
There's no hint of sky to introduce perspective, and the forest is dotted with speckled color, giving the composition abstract quality. The canvas is intentionally square, as Klim believed the format had great potential for depicting a world of balance and calm. In one of his letters, Klimt described his workflow when creating the painting. Early in the morning, usually around 6 o'clock, earlier or later, I get up. And if the weather is nice, I will go to the forest next door. I painted a beach forest there, in the sun, with a few conifers in the middle. At number 5, we have Maternity 2 by Porcogen, executed by the painter in 1899 and sold for $105.7 million. The work by Paul Gauguin, which sold at Christie's in the same collection as an earlier work, depicts two women from the island of Tahiti, where Gauguin moved to for about 10 years. He said in a letter that he has made an irrevocable decision to live forever in Polynesia, rather than engage in an eternal battle with idiots. During this time away from Europe, Gauguin produced some of his most important works, which differed markedly from his earlier style. At number 4, we have Berger avec Cibre by Vincent van Gogh, executed in 1888 and sold for $117 million. Every painting by Vincent van Gogh that is sold at auction garners significant attention. This piece was no different. Christie's auction Berger avec Cibre off of the Paul G. Allen collection in November and sold it for $117 million. The painting is located in Arles, southern France, which Van Gogh envisioned as a promised land. During the time spent there, Van Gogh produced 14 paintings depicting different views of an orchid as it bloomed from different angles. In this painting, he sought to depict a larger perspective that was expressed in delicate, linear strokes of pale, pink, green, and blue. At number 3, we have La Montagne Saint-Victoire by Paul Cézanne executed between 1888 and 1890, and sold for $137 million. The mountain of saint Victoire is a frequent and most recognizable motif in Paul Cézanne's work. This painting was sold at Christie's for $137 million and is another of the pieces from the Paul G. Allen collection. This painting derived from the later pieces in the collective that depicted the mountain when the artist abandoned more conventional compositions of the early 1880s. The mountain and the landscape are less detailed here, but the dynamic color composition of the plains adds to the overall visual impact of the piece. The emphasis of Cézanne's indifference to Impressionism is conveyed in the composition's almost architectural organization. Nature is not located on the surface, it is located in the depth, Cézanne explained. Colors are the manifestation of the surface's depth. They originate from the Earth's base. They are the life of ideas, the life of the concept. At number two, we have Le Pesé Ensemble, small version, by Georges Serrat, executed by the painter in 1888 and sold for $149 million. The most expensive painting in the Paul G. Allen collection is this Serrat's canvas that was sold at Christie's for $149 million. Le Posé Ensemble Petit Version from 1888 is Serrat's response to questions about the pointillist technique's suitability for depicting different subjects, specifically the subtleties of the human body. Serrat produced several preparatory drawings and oils for Le Posé. This work is considered the most refined and complete of the bunch. And at number one, we have Shot Sage Blue Maryland by Andy Warhol, executed in 1964 and sold for staggering $195 million. It was the most expensive piece of art ever made when it was sold at Christie's in New York on May 9, 2022, for $195 million from the collection of Thomas and Dorsaman. The legendary Marilyn Monroe is the subject of the painting, one of a series by Warhol. It not only depicts the legendary actress's physical attractiveness, but also her cultural power. Shot Sage Blue Marilyn is a 20th century Mona Lisa. In addition, the painting is the best representation of Andy Warhol's silkscreen technique in the pinnacle of his career. Thanks for watching.